Hi, I'm Nancy Friedrich, Editor-in-Chief of Mike Graves and RF here at IMS 2013 with James Nelson from TriQuin. Hi, James. Hello. How are you? Good. Nice to see you again this year. Yeah, thanks for coming back. Thanks. Last year, James introduced to me and TriQuin introduced to the world some new VSAT products serving point-to-point -point and explained to me how TriQuint was taking a different approach and would be increasing that product family to basically cover the whole block diagram. This year they have indeed flushed out the rest of the picture. Can you let us know how? Sure. Uh, last year, as you mentioned, we released our first KA band chipset for VSAT application. Uh, that was released uh, throughout last year. We released some of the first devices for the point-to-point -point side, and then at this show we released 12 new products that basically completes our family. So the new products that we're releasing are covering 10 to 27 gigahertz. Uh, we now have a family of nine VCOs, eight of which were introduced at this show. We have added one down converter, which completes our up and down converter set for the, both of those uh, primary bands, and we've added three new PAs. So the new chipset, we think, is a good offering and competitive offering. Uh, the VCOs have some of the lowest power consumption on the market with very competitive phase noise. We're pin compatible with the others in the marketplace. The up and down converters, we're able to cover 10 to 27 gigahertz with two chips, so very wide bandwidth, maintaining some of the best linearity we believe in the marketplace. And now we've added a new high power line at 18, 23, and 26 gigahertz on the power amplifier side. So for the first time, you can you can build 10 to 27 gigahertz point-to-point -point radio chips from all from TriClint. That's excellent. So if someone wants to find out more about this product family, they should go to triquint.com and Look, at the, look up the, by part number or by data sheet? Yes, all the data sheets are, are on the web and will be on the web soon. I think we're still missing one or two, but we'll be up shortly after the show. Uh, all of the information is contained there. There's a link if you have applications, questions, it, can, it comes into our, our facility and distributed. So uh, we think all the information that someone needs is on the web. Great. And I understand you have plans in the pretty near future to expand this family further. Can you just give us a glimpse into that? Sure. I mean, there's many radio bands that are required for point-to-point. -point. Basically, the licensed bands cover from 6 to 42 gigahertz. So uh, now we've covered 10 to 27, which are the highest, some of the highest volume applications, but we'll be on to the higher frequencies next, and that's what we're working on next. So should have a few announcements at European Microwave. Excellent. Well, well, we'll keep an eye out for that. Thank you again for spending time with us. I hope you have a great rest of the show. Yeah, thank you very much.